The Loomis method is an extremely popular way of drawing human portraits, but it's something that I've never actually tried before. So in this video, I'm gonna give myself an hour to try and learn the technique. So I started off by watching some videos in order to get a good idea of what I need to do. I'm then gonna go and do a first attempt. I'm then gonna go and do a load of practice on loads of little sketches. And then to finish, I'm then going to reattempt the same drawing after all of that practice. So let's dive straight into it with my first attempt. So for this first attempt, I'm gonna be doing a picture of myself. So the first thing that we need to do is just come in and draw a circle, making sure it's actually circular. I think Meso Creations used a compass. And all we need to do is then come in on the side here with a, another circle to do the side of the head. And then we need to go and do like the eyebrow line. Kind of need to imagine it coming round like it's an equator. I think that's what the guy in the Proco video said. I then got like the bottom of the nose, which comes here. And then the mouth is around here. So I think this is the bottom of my nose. And then this line down here, will be the bottom of my chin. So round about there. And then slap in a jaw, the chin. I think I should, should probably, no, we're just going straight up here. And then we can kind of jot in some neck about here. Oh, and the guy from Mesa Creations said that if you put a little cross in there, just like so, and then you, in this lower quadrant, you can whack in an ear. And then there was something to do with a line coming from the center here down to here. And then we can come up here. So this is the center line of the front Plane. And then this just kind of comes up. Oh, and then you extend this line down and then this jumps in here and then down, down. So there you go, attempt number one. So there were definitely some things that were a bit iffy with that initial attempt. Like most of the lines didn't necessarily follow the curvature of each of the basic shapes. So what I did is I went onto Google and searched up three quarter view portraits and I just kind of went through them one by one, just creating a Loomis drawing of like each of the poses. So kind of doing them in the exact same way as that initial attempt, but really focusing on how those lines were being used to convey the form. For instance, I was still using the circle, then the oval, then I was doing the brow line, and then the mouth line, then I came down to do the line for the chin. I then kind of split that oval up into like a cross section. I then put it down a bit, joined the jaw up, did the front of the face, and then I did the curvature of the front of the face. I even got a bit cocky towards the end and started to add in some of the hair. But yeah, one by one, I gradually got faster at doing them. I started to like kind of hone my eye into like how those lines need to be used to convey the form and stuff. And I was starting to become quite confident with using the Loomis method. So what I then wanted to do was like spend a bit more time on a couple of sketches. So at the bottom here, I did three. So the first one, we've obviously got another three quarter view. And yeah, really happy with how this was looking. I then went around the basic outline, just darkening up that outline and also adding in some shading as well. I then went and did another like three quarter view, but it was kind of facing up a bit. And same thing again, really happy with how like definite the lines were. And again, just went around it, darkening up the outline and then adding in some shading. And on the last one, I got really, really cocky and decided, you know what, I'm gonna try and draw like a facing up view, which I hadn't actually done in the quick sketches. And it was looking a bit iffy. So I actually added in some like facial features just to kind of show you what's going on there. And it was a bit risky doing that because I didn't quite know what I was doing there. And in total, I think all of this practice that I did took just over 45 minutes. So I'm actually feeling pretty confident with the Loomis method now. So I'm gonna go back to that original drawing of myself, do it again and see if I can do it any better. As you can imagine, because I've spent some time practicing it, this sketch that I'm doing now, it's obviously gonna be better than the first one that I did. Now I did get quite confident towards the end that I started to add in some facial features. And as I said before, I'm not quite sure like really how to do this. So it ended up looking a bit weird and nothing really like me. I again just added in some shading to make it look a bit 3D. But yeah, it looks a bit iffy, but I reckon for just an hour of playing around with the Loomis method, I'm actually pretty happy with how much progress that I've made. But I reckon with a bit more practice, I'll be able to use the Loomis method to create some actually quite realistic drawings. And if you'd like to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video, which should appear somewhat on screen around about now.